Hey folks, this is Vent with Dad's Gaming Addiction, and today we're going to quickly check out Warhammer Vermintide 2. Specifically, we're going to be looking at one of the new DLCs that just recently hit. It's called the Warrior Priest Career. You can find this on Steam for about four bucks. There is a bundle that you can buy that is a little bit more expensive, but it includes cosmetic items. So, Again, I've covered DLC packs for this game before, and I've said the same thing every time. I hate the fact that for $4, you can buy this class, or at least an expansion to the class, and then you have to pay even more money to unlock the cosmetics for it. I hate that stuff like that is hidden behind a paywall. I, I just There's got to be a way to earn that in-game. I, I hate that. But um, it's worth mentioning that this character, Victor... Um, Again, this DLC is for Victor, and it unlocks this Priest of Sigmar here, the Warrior Priest. Um, I don't use Victor a whole lot. Um, I haven't even unlocked the third... Uh, like, I'm not even level 12 yet. I'm only level 10. I primarily use the Dwarf, uh, level 33. I've got Karelian at level 29. Uh, my Marcus Kruber here is at 16. But um, when it comes to these two, 10 and 11. But... I just want to quickly overview this DLC for you, that way you can see what you're getting should you decide to pick it up. So, what do you get with this particular Warrior Priest? Well, on the right hand side you can see the passive ability here, it's Righteous Fury. Um, so basically he gains fury when enemies die nearby. On reaching 100% fury, he briefly enters Righteous Fury and his ad uh, attacks smite the enemy for 20% of weapon damage. Um, he loses fury while out of combat. So it's kind of like a, a warrior rampage kind of thing where, you know, he constantly likes to attack and kill things, gains righteous fury along the way. That's really good. Uh, he's also got the Shield of Faith career skill. Uh, basically, he creates on himself or an ally a shield, rendering them immune to damage for five seconds. Upon expiring, the shield explodes, inflicting damage on nearby enemies. Hold the target allies. We'll take a quick look at that. I'll just go ahead and activate it. So there's the shield there. I'm sort of invulnerable. And bam, it just sort of exploded. Um, again, my character isn't leveled up all that much. But you can see the training dummy is uh, receiving some damage. So there's a quick look at that particular skill. That's the career skill. Some perks to look at. Enemy of Chaos. 30% bonus Power versus Chaos Warriors and Beastmen Standard uh, Bearers. Incorruptible. 100% Curse Resistance. That's actually quite good. Inplaceable. Uh, damage dealt to him is reduced by 20%. A further 20% of incoming damage is dealt to Victor over 3 seconds. Uh, Victor cannot be killed by damage dealt by Implaceable. So that's that's not bad either. So he's got some tanky tankiness to him, which is nice. Um, and that's to be expected considering that he has no ranged weapon. Uh, luckily, you know, you've got other options for Victor should you like the ranged. Uh, this Witch Hunter Captain, for example, and the Bounty Hunter both sport ranged setups. Again, I have not unlocked the Zealot to know what he's capable of. But this particular DLC has two melee weapons very similar to the Grail Knight which is for Marcus Kruber. So let's just go back to uh, him. And we'll pull out some of his stuff that you can see. Um, we'll go to inventory. And uh, so here are the different equipables. I haven't even bothered crafting new weapons for him yet. Like you can see that my other things here are 300 that I've crafted for other characters. But um, he's got two melee weapons here. And I'll just, I'll go through each one so that you can see them. Uh, primarily, though, his new stuff is the uh, Blacksmith's Paired Skull Splitters, uh, and also the Blacksmith Skull Splitter and Blessed Tome. But he's also got other options here. I'll just take you through each one. So here's, here's one of them. It's a flail, as you can see. Not bad. Has four stamina shields there. Um, moving on to the next one. This is the new one. It's just a hammer. Two-handed hammer. Okay, and this is the power attack. Not bad. Um, and then if we move on to this one and this one. Alright, so he's got his tome. Holding left mouse button just sort of charges up the hammer. 
as you can see. As you can, it's more of a charge. There we go. Like he moves, so you gotta like get used to the timing and the distance on this. So there you go. There's that. Um, the dual hammers. I will fight to the bitter end, should that be your will. But must I do so without hope? All right, there, Victor. All right, and then lastly, we've got that one and that one. It's got five stamina on this one for for blocking. And then, of course, if you want the standard shield, you can do that too. But as you can see, lots of options. You can you know decide with a shield and a hammer for the one, and then maybe dual. Uh, skull splitters on the second, however you want to work it. Or maybe you want a two-hander and then the hammer and shield. Uh, there's lots of melee options there. Lastly, we'll look at talents, just so you can see. Again, I don't have any of these really leveled. But some of these are, like, standard across all classes, like staggering enemies with a melee attack grants temporary health. That is typical across a lot of things. Um, damaging multiple enemies in one swing with a melee weapon grants temporary health. Um, typical there. Um, I'm looking for something that is somewhat different, um, so maybe we'll just head down here to the bottom. Usually the level 30 skills. Uh, Unyielding Blessing. Shield of Faith now lasts for 8 seconds and allows the target to trample through less en lesser enemies and effects. Um, United in Prayer. Shield of Faith always affects uh, Victor as well, so if you like the fact that, you know, you can target someone and target yourself with the Shield of Faith, which is your career skill then, you know, that, that's a double whammy right there. Uh, the Comet's Gift. Shield of Faith now revives and heals an amount equal to all damage suffered the last three seconds. So, if you're looking for more of a healer, uh, in addition to, like, maybe, like, a Paladin, uh, you may want to take the Comet's Gift. Uh, Prayer of Hardiness. Uh, blesses the party with 15% increased maximum health. That's actually quite good. This one, Prayer of Might, blesses the party with 25% increased stagger power. That pairs well with anything else that uh, does some sort of bonus or gets some sort of uh, bonus for staggering. Um, again, it's blocking and attacking usually. Uh, blessing the party with 35% increased critical strike damage. So if you want to kill something quickly, high crit percentage chance pairs well with that, obviously. Um, divine exor exorate whatever. Pushing during Righteous Fury sends out a holy shock wave around Victor, staggering nearby enemies. Um, empowered Smite. Smite now triggers after one second, gains increased stagger strength, and deals 40% of the attack damage uh, from Fury Fortitude. Each kill during Righteous Fury restores health to the party based on the health of the slain enemy. So again, if you're looking for a healer, um, this character is not bad. Again, he's more he serves more of a paladin role in, in a lot of these cases. So those are just some of the ones um, that are going to be available to you should you decide to pick up this DLC. All in all, I mean, again, Victor isn't really my class. Um, I've seen people with Victor wipe the floor and get some insane damage. This particular DLC seems more focused on uh, tanking and healing. So if you like Victor uh, for his DPS but wish he had more tankiness um, or some healing capabilities, then you may want to check this one out. If you guys haven't already, subscribe to me on Twitch and YouTube. That way you can stay up to date with any new content I've been to publish. This is Vince. Thanks for watching, and I will catch you guys next time.